we have three potential solutions to your digital dilemmas. Are you ready to go through them? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Our first tech solution is to brighten up those bland white walls with these, the Govi Dreamview light bars. Now, the whole idea of these, Ketan, is so you have a better atmosphere as you're playing your games. Should we give them a go? Yeah, let's go. Right, Otis, hit the lights. The whole idea is that the lights emulate the game colours, and that's via this smart camera on the front here. What are your initial thoughts? Obviously, I'm in a jungle scene and it, the lights are green. It looks really good, and as soon as I look somewhere else, it, it changes. So, yeah, it looks really nice. It looks really cool. I like the whole colour changing. There's a bit of mood to the game as well. Nice, I'm glad you're keen. Now, why I thought this could really work in your space is that the, the box room is pretty plain and you've got white walls. So, I really feel like this could jazz it up nicely. But you can set up different colour profiles. Do you want to have a little play on the app, Venus? See if there's any presets that you like. Yeah, it's a candlelight theme. That would be quite cool. Otis, lights back on. OK. So, they come in at £63.99. Do you think that's good value for money, and do you think you'd use them? I think so. Yeah, the room's really plain at the moment, and I think this makes it feel a bit more... Like, it's got a bit of character. It feels a bit like a mood lighting, so depending on what sort of game you're playing as well, I think that could, yeah, add a bit of something. It's just a bit more expensive than buying a game for the PlayStation anyway, so it probably makes sense, because it completely changes the way you play. Yeah. I like your attitude. Sacrifice a game for the lights. Nice. Or get both. Or get both. <laughs> <laughs> Low budget. That's a big tick for our little light bars. Time to see what Ketan and Lena make of our next offering, the Razer Barracuda headset, costing £160. These headphones offer dual connectivity, meaning they play the audio coming from your console or computer, then seamlessly shift to answer a call over Bluetooth if your phone rings. Handy for making sure your gaming sessions don't have to be interrupted to take a call. They connect to your PS5 using a dongle that you plug into the USB-C port, then you connect them via Bluetooth to your smartphone. Mm. So, Ketan, if you take those and pop them on, what you should get is an all-encompassing experience. And this is where we can work out whether the noise cancelling works or not. Mm -hmm. You can say what you truly feel about them, Lena. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you heard that. <laughs> I don't think you did. No. So, Ketan, obviously you can't, obviously you can't hear us too well, um, but what are your thoughts? It sounds really good, yeah, yeah. The sound quality is good. They're nicely cushioned against my ear and I couldn't hear a word of what you were saying. But will these headphones seamlessly switch from gaming to take a call? Lena and I head into the lounge to help Ketan find out. So, pop those on. OK, good. So he's heard that. Hello? Hello? I can't hear... Hello? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, I can hear him now. Oh, that's a bit delayed, isn't it? The headphones also claim to reject background noise. Their ear cups have built-in microphones that should isolate your voice when you're on a gaming session or call. Time for Otis to have a sing-song to test out that claim. I'll sing in the background. Oh, yeah, I can hear Otis singing. <laughs> she can hear you singing. I'll take that, yes. OK, so it's not completely drowning out yeah. Otis's noise. Fortunate, that. <laughs> With a thumbs down for taking calls, but a thumbs up for great gaming sound, what will Ketan make of the price? So, Ketan, all said and done, that's 160 quid for those cans. Your thoughts? Yeah, I'm not sure it's a bargain. <laughs> but, but to be fair, the quality is good. It feels nice, the build's really nice, it's comfortable on your head. The sound quality is amazing as well when you're gaming. There's a few niggly bits, but nothing too bad. OK. We've shown them options for lighting and gaming. Now it's time to address the elephant in the room, Ketan's rather old telly. Your vintage TV. <laughs> I just don't think it really does justice to the PlayStation 5's high-performance graphics. Agreed. So it's out with the old and in with the new. In this case, the Samsung 32-inch Odyssey G5, a cutting-edge curved monitor for serious gaming, which doubles up as a screen for the office or for streaming movies. All for under 300 quid. Hopefully it'll really bring to life the prowess of your PlayStation 5. Initial thoughts? Yeah, it looks good. I like the fact that it curves round as well. It makes you feel like you're in the game a bit more, which is cool. Exactly. You get real close to the action. So as you're running around, hopefully you can see that it's got a really fast refresh rate, really smooth picture. What do you guys think? 
Yeah, it looks a lot better than my current TV. Um, Hard not to, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, and the crispness of the graphics is much better as well, so I can see more and there's definitely no blurring. Well, that sharpness comes from the 2K resolution. Now, it's not quite delivering the PlayStation's 4K resolution, but it comes in at a really reasonable price. How much is it? So it's £279. What do you reckon? Yeah, I, I think that's not a bad price. Um, you could spend a hell of a lot more um, on a big TV. So I suppose to get the graphics, to get um, something that fits in our small space, it, it works quite well. Having got to experience our three tech enhancements, we want to find out which one Kettle and Lena think is best. Which do you think will enhance your gaming experience the most? I don't know if we'll have the same answer to it. Go on. I think I think I'd go for the light bars. Light bars? Okay, we do have the same answer. <laughs> <laughs> light bars. Light bars. Light bars. Yeah. Okay. You can use it for gaming. You can use it for watching TV. Yeah, and a bit stuff. more versatile, I think. Yeah. And we'd probably both make use of them. Yeah. yeah. Or we yeah. might have to buy two sets. <laughs> <laughs>